Kazmowski with Kaz and Guitars, and today I wanted to spend a few minutes uh, talking to you about my latest creation. This is a acoustic guitar. Um, like most of my guitars, there's basically no flat surfaces with these, with this one, and like my other guitars, this guitar was designed on the computer using a CAD program, and everything was machined out on a uh, CNC, which is a uh, another way of saying a computer-controlled uh, milling machine. This is a fairly small-bodied guitar. The uh, real inspiration for this guitar was an old uh, Silvertone acoustic I once had, and I wanted to um, see how, if I could actually emulate the sound of that guitar, which in my mind was really uh, funky and earthy, and I think this guitar does a pretty good job, actually. Uh, this guitar has a, a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length. Uh, the top piece of wood is uh, reclaimed old growth fir. Uh, the bridge piece is a chunk of ebony. It's about uh, 5 eighths of an inch thick and it's uh, screwed onto the body. It's got a uh, bone saddle. The back is uh, black walnut and there's a thin rim of, uh, of a mahogany you can see kind of running around through the middle of it there. It also has a mahogany neck. Let me show you the neck joint there. Um, it's actually a screw-on or bolt-on neck. Um, like I say, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length. It's got a, a conventional round sound hole in the middle and I added another uh, sound port up on top with the intent being to direct more sound energy to the player. So um, that's a look at it. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the curvature, the side view there end view. It's got a bit of a crown, arch top kind of a action going on this edge. Um, so, so there you go. I'm going to uh, break away here now and I'll uh, play a few things so you can get a sense of how it actually sounds. Uh, but before I give you a chance to hear how the guitar actually sounds, I wanted to spend a little bit of time uh, showing you uh, what the inside of the uh, box looks like. So here's a few uh, CAD images of the, um, the top and bottom uh, parts. So starting with the, uh, the inside top surface, you can see that uh, unlike uh, conventional acoustic guitars where they start with a uh, flat slab soundboard and then glue on uh, stiffeners, uh, this approach starts with a uh, block of uh, fur, as I mentioned, and then I machine out. Um, everything. So this uh, design actually has integral stiffeners that you can see here and uh, these uh, pockets are actually uh, milled down uh, fairly thin to about uh, 70 or 80 thousandths thick. So I'm able to uh, get quite a bit of flexibility in my designs and not have to uh, rely on gluing on additional parts. And this is one of the main things I wanted to investigate with this approach to making an acoustic guitar. Um, Here's a look at the uh, bottom piece, or the back piece, which is uh, black walnut. And the same basic approach where the ribs and the stiffening uh, members are uh, machined into the block. And then these pockets here are milled down to uh, get down to a thinner wall. These uh, walls are a little bit thicker than on the front surface because I wanted to make sure that I got enough uh, structure out of the, the back piece. Okay, so there's a look at the, uh, the inside. Now let's uh, hear how it sounds. Okay, I should start by saying that I'm recording this uh, directly into my handheld Canon uh, Vixia video recorder, so uh, no real fancy attempts to get super high fidelity, but I think you can get the basic idea here. Um, so.
right, so there you go. You've had a chance to hear how the uh, Heresy acoustic prototype sounds, as well as uh, give you a chance to take a look inside to see how it's actually fabricated. Um, regarding the next guitar I build, um, I'm thinking about making the box a little bit bigger and uh, doing some more experimentation with the uh, stiffening and the uh, type of uh, bridge mount that I'm using. So um, if you have any uh, questions or comments or suggestions, uh, either leave them on my uh, YouTube channel here or uh, check out my website at uh, cosmguitars.com and uh, drop me an email. Alright, thanks for watching.